Hello friends, this video on water part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have spoken so much about uh, the water cycle, it becomes important to talk about rainfall. Now, rainfall plays a very crucial role, especially in a country like India. So here rainfall is important because agriculture is largely dependent on rains. Now as I mentioned before that for agriculture to take place, for the crops to uh, get cultivated properly, they need to be watered correctly. So that means water need to be given to the plants. So in India, we largely depend on rainfall so that our fields get watered. Now agriculture is dependent on rain. So if there is no rain, there will be no agriculture. If there is no agriculture, there will be no food for us. So the living organisms would not be able to survive. Another importance of rainfall is that it fills the rivers, lakes and oceans and we need water for so many purposes in our day to day life. So we get all that water from the nearby lakes and rivers. So if they are filled enough with water so that would be better for us. Supports all life forms. It supports all life forms. As I said, water is important for all life forms. Now, when this rainfall fills the water bodies like rivers, lakes and oceans, it also supports a huge number of aquatic life, aquatic organisms which live in these water bodies. So, that means rainfall is very, very important. Now, when we talk about rainfall, what becomes more important to discuss is that sometimes there is excess of rainfall. Sometimes there is no rainfall at all. Now, both of these situations are not very, uh, not good to have situations. So, rainfall can cause problems. Now, if there is no rainfall at all, that can result in a drought. If there is too much of rainfall, that can result in floods. And in both of these cases, a huge damage to life and property takes place. So, when there is a flood, there is so much of water everywhere that buildings collapse, there is loss of property, organisms die, a lot of huge loss of life as well. Similarly, when it uh, when the just the reverse scenario happens that there is no rainfall at all, in that case there is a very very poor effect effect on the agriculture. So we do not have enough crops. So when there is no enough crops, we do not have enough food to eat. So that means also a lot of people die out of hunger, uh, a, a lot of diseases spread out due to drought. So lack of rainfall also impacts us. Excess of rainfall also impacts us. Now, let us quickly look at the problems that can happen due to excess of rainfall, that is flood and its harmful effects. So, as a result of floods, there could be soil erosion. What is soil erosion? Carrying away of the upper layer of soil by water. When so much of water is flowing over the surface, what happens is the top layer of soil is being carried away by the water. So, top layers of soil are carried away with water. So what happens as a result of this? Now the top layers of soil are comparatively more fertile. So the fertile layers are carried away. That means the soil which you are left with is not, no more that fertile. So they, that will not support the growth of plants. So that way soil erosion is a bad thing to happen. Secondly, destroy forest ecosystem. Now, inside the forest, we have huge number of trees, we have huge number of animals, insects, birds, and so many organisms which are mutually dependent on each other. But due to flood, the trees are carried away by the water, the entire vegetation is spoiled, so many animals die, so in the entire ecosystem within the forest is destroyed completely. Loss of property because huge buildings, offices, Everything gets uh, broken, everything gets carried away by water, crop fields underwater. As I said, agriculture, for agriculture we need water. But if you put too much of water in the agricultural field also, then what happens is the entire uh, crops or the plants, they go completely underwater. So even with excess of water and there is water logging, then the plants also tend to die. Villages, towns and cities destroyed. So the entire establishment of humans get affected. 
loss of species. Many a times it so happens that some species of animals which are already there, maybe a few of them exist now. So even they die as a result of flood and therefore we lose that species forever. Or sometimes it also happens that a particular species of an animal, they reside in a particular area. They, they are found only in a particular geographic location. But due to flood in that location, you ended up have, right, having all those animals killed. So as a result, this would lead to the loss of species. So you might ask here, what is a species? So species refers to a group of organisms that can interbreed. So what do we mean by that? Let's say if you talk about dogs. So there can be multiple species of dogs. So those types of dogs which can, inter which can interbreed to give rise to a new organism or they can mutually mate to give rise to their young ones. They are said to belong to us the same species. So group of organisms which can interbreed amongst themselves. So we can say that let's say there is a cat and a dog. Do you think they both belong to the same species? Definitely not. So the same is true for other animals also. So only similar types of animals fall under the category of same species. Now let us look at the other extreme scenario that is the harmful effects of drought. So in this case, what groundwater level will get lowered because there is no rainfall since a very long time. So no rainfall that means no groundwater because groundwater, the only source for groundwater is the rainfall. So when there is no rainfall, so the groundwater level will get lower. So you can understand this by uh, performing a very simple experiment. Try to dig below the surface of the earth in an area which gets sufficient rainfall. And try to do the same activity in an area which did not receive rainfall for a couple of months in the past. So, and you will note a difference. So, the first case where there is sufficient rainfall, you will see that very quickly you will reach that level where you will be able to see water. Whereas, in the second case, that is in case of an area with no rainfall in the last few months you would see that you will actually need to dig a lot to reach a level where there is water and sometimes it might the, the condition can be so severe that you keep on digging it but you do not get trace of any water. Destroy forest ecosystem so when there will be no water so the surface will all be dry as a result the plants will also dry up, plants will die so the animals which are dependent on plants for their food they would also die, so the entire ecosystem will again get spoiled. Water level decreases in water bodies like ponds, rivers and lakes. Sometimes due to drought, they might even dry out completely. You do not see a, thing, a drop of water in the water bodies. Dry soil, so as I said that when we water plants, the water gets stored between the soil particles. Now when there is no rainfall at all, it's obviously there is no water that is actually entering into the soil. Therefore the soil remains dry. No crop cultivation, hence lack of food. So agriculture is totally dependent on rainfall to some extent. So when there is no rainfall at all for a long time, in that case the crop cultivation will get adversely impacted and there will be shortage of food. So organisms will not be able to survive. So we see that both floods and droughts have their own harmful effects and that is why it is very important that rainfall happens in, at the right quantity. So it shouldn't be either excess of rainfall or it shouldn't be either lack of a rainfall since a very very long time. So now that we saw that uh, rainfall if it happens in excess can be disastrous in the form of flood. Similarly if it doesn't happen at all since long time it can be equally disastrous in the form of drought. Now, as a result of flood and drought, who are the common victims in both the cases? So, the common victims are the forests. You do look at uh, the animals living in the forests, the birds, insects, even the tiny organisms, the plants, all these life forms are adversely impacted as a result of flood and drought. So, that is why it is said that uh, it is very important 
to maintain the right amount of water on this earth because water is something which is very very precious very very crucial for the survival of all life forms thank you please visit www.examflow.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again